If you're a user of Promethean Active Inspire, then take a look at this video. Promethean have just released version three of Active Inspire. In this video, I wanna go through some of the features that are new and to show you what version three looks like. So let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice when you open up the software is you get a very different kind of welcome screen. The little window that pops up over the top of the, your screen isn't there anymore. The software opens up with, with this welcome page. On here, you've got the obvious things that you can wanna do for starters. You have, like before, annotate uh, a desktop timer and access to the activities. The new flip chart and open flip chart are there. The import button is new. That was under new flip chart last time. It's, it now stands alone, which lets you import smart notebook files. If I click on that, it let you import PDFs and smart notebook files and also PowerPoints. So that's there from, from before. So new flip chart takes you into flip chart mode. And then one thing you'll notice from the start is that it's very gray. If I bring this toolbar up over here into the middle of the screen, you can see the icons are basically monochrome black and white and um, the big change really is that this toolbar can now be resized and stretched so if I click on the bottom here I can stretch make the toolbar smaller or bigger depending on what I want to do and if I do make it smaller I can then scroll within the space you don't have to have a massive toolbar to take up a huge chunk of your screen if you don't want it to you can resize this to fit wherever you want it to go you can also make it longer and thinner if you want to and have a long thin toolbar and then that means you can dock it at the bottom of the screen or have it up at the top of the screen or out of the way just need to resize that and stretch it down to get it back to the way it was in terms of of what's new basically not a lot promethean sailor there's a lot of upgrades under the hood which is making it run a little smoother they're making it work a little better but you won't really see a lot of differences from this version previous versions. To change to the primary look and feel like I covered in the previous video is still here on the, the view button. The the big difference is that there is now the ability to crop an image. So if I find a picture, let's just drag an image in. If I resize that image by dragging on the handles, that's all the same as before. But looking at these icons along the top, what you can see is there is now a crop button. Click on the crop and then you can resize the image but actually you're not resizing now you're just cropping out bits of the picture this is uh, irreversible so once you've done this and you've committed by clicking the tick you can't go back uh, like you can do in powerpoint and see the the other bits of the image and change it this is cropped for good uh, at least on this version of the picture um so i'll resize that like so and i'll click on the tick and now that's been cropped and i can move that around so handy if you want to crop out parts of an image um, and just focus on a, a particular bit you don't have to blank it out with white spaces or do a, a camera uh, capture to cut out a piece of a picture that you want to reuse that seems to be the main change that i can see in in this version at the moment i'm assuming because this is now the big version 3 update it's been version 2 uh, for quite a while um, this is now a, a big step up with the version 3 so there's a lot of updates under the under the hood but there's not a lot obviously that is different at the moment obviously it's well worth updating to get any bugs gone and so on if you are an existing promethean user then this will just install on an update you can click on um, check for updates it'll give you the new version it'll install it won't ask you for your license key or whatever we'll just carry on working as normal if you aren't a promethean user at the moment then obviously you will need a license key to make this work it's not free software you'll need a license key um, but if you're a promethean user you've got a promethean screen or a promethean board then you should have access to the license key that will unlock the software and make it work for you so headline not a lot is different but the look and feel is a little newer They've changed the way the toolbar looks, and I would hope there'll be sort of more upgrades in the future going going down the line. But the crop tool is welcome, but it's not you know it's not massive, but it's it's certainly worth a look. So that's Active Inspire version three. As always, update, install, have a play. Send me questions if you've got them. I'll see if I can answer them. Thank you very much for your time. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with some more EdTech videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.